Well, a big day at the Mid-South Food Bank celebrating its new and bigger facility. The organization serves tens of thousands of families in the Mid-South every year, but was often forced to turn away donations because it just didn't have the space. The new location is in Parkway Village, where Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams is live tonight. How is it, Rudy? Hey, it's cool. Richard, hey, good evening, Katina. Listen, the well wishes have dropped into 3865 South Perkins to get the first looks at the Mid South Food Bank's new digs here. Now, just a moment ago, the ribbon cutting happened, and you can see lots of people here are enjoying uh, the reception to open up this new building. Uh, the director of Mid South Food Bank, Estella Mayhew Greer, gave some words to the crowd, and she was joined at the podium by the mayor. But if you look around here, you'll see that this is quite a community effort. You have several organizations and corporations who have contributed to making this all happen. The Volunteer Hub uh, is sponsored by FedEx, as you can see there, AutoZone, International Paper, Kroger, just to name a few of community organizations who have joined in to make this new Mid-South Food Bank a reality. Now, one of the biggest issues that the old facility had uh, in its other location was the freezers constantly breaking down. Well, they'll have no problem with that anymore. The new Mid-South Food Bank here on South Perkins not only has a refrigerator, but they have a freezer and they also have coolers double the size, more than double the size of the old ones. And the entire storage space here, is, I'm told, is about uh, the size of three football fields. So plenty of space here for the Mid-South Food Bank to better serve the Mid-South. And that's 31 counties across Mississippi, Arkansas, and Tennessee. We're reporting live in Parkway Village tonight. I'm Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.